Hey guys, it's Michael Ingenito, and we're back at the Russell Union Show, here again at our beautiful George Ann studio table, and we're going to go around campus asking people the real questions. You guys stay tuned, all right? Excuse me. I have a question for you. What's up? What do you feel about buses? They move. They move? Yeah. 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 How do you feel about those buses right there? I feel like they also move. They do move? Yeah. That's, you know, it's a pretty acute observation right there. You As know? opposed to, you know, stationary buses. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Good, good, good. I like the waffle fries. Thank you, thank you. So I got a question for you guys. Are you guys more of a front of the bus person or a back of the bus person? Back of the bus. Definitely. Back of the bus person? Yeah. How about yourself? Front. Front of the bus? Yeah. What's up? Why the front of the bus? Um, I like having access to the door uh -huh. in case something happens. All right. What do you guys feel about buses? You think they're pretty cool? Uh, I used to like them when I was in like high school and like middle school and stuff, but now because COVID and everything, I tend to stay away from them. You tend and, to stay away from them? Yeah, yeah, and they're pretty dirty and really loud. So mm -hmm. I don't Good. Like so I got a question for you guys. How do you guys feel about buses? The buses on campus or just buses in general? Both. But first start with the buses on campus. Um, well, for one, they don't um, come fast enough and the students are having to wait a lot to, um, to get to class and most of the time they're late um, due to the buses. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the size of them. I don't really like the new bus route. It takes forever to get to class. It does. Yeah, I, I haven't been riding the buses just because, you know, COVID and everything. Like, how are you supposed to, you know, how are you supposed to wait for a bus that gets filled up because it's like half capacity, you know what I'm saying? And right. you never know if somebody's going to like wear their mask on, on the bus or not. I've seen people, like, pictures of people not wearing masks on the bus and everything. So it's like, what, what are you going to do about that? Do you guys, um, do you guys feel like they need to revamp the routes and everything? Yeah, they probably need to make um, more routes, but shorter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or at least bring back the old routes. I get you. I get you. Well, besides just buses on campus, how do you guys feel about buses in general? Um, sometimes they can be relaxing, like when you're traveling, you know, the big old buses with the, you know, when you go on The charter beach. buses? Yeah, the charter oh, buses. Yeah. <laughs> you know, those yeah. are relaxing, they're comfortable. Oh, yeah, you got yeah. that little seat rest right there. So, so. I'm from a big city, so bus buses are very necessary. So I'm from Chicago. Oh yeah. And we didn't have a car. Literally, my family didn't have a car until I moved to Atlanta. So buses have gotten around my first ten years. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty great. Pretty great public transportation, that's for sure. Excuse me, sir. I just had to ask you a question. What do you think about buses? Have you ever even been on a bus? Scared him. Here we go, in front of the uh, in front of the table. Here we go. Three. Wait, we're good. Three, two, one. How you guys doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? You know what? Talking about buses. That's how I'm doing. Mm, talking about buses. Yes, sir. Buses. What do you guys feel about buses? Um, I haven't um, been on one this semester. Yeah, I've been on it probably once or twice before I received a car. Okay. So, well, that'll yeah. do, that's a pretty good upgrade. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys? Uh, what 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 has made you guys not go on buses? Do you guys have prior um, transportation models, or do you guys no. just not want to be on a bus? Um, you I know, think it's COVID. It's COVID. Yeah. COVID. Yeah. Well, um, for me, you know, it's but, more yeah. like I don't have to be on campus that often. A lot of my that's classes are right. online, and yeah. I have no reason to be here. Mm -hmm. So, um, when I do have to come to campus, I quickly park in. Uh, one of those visitor areas and keep it pushing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because what, um, I mean, you know, the safety precautions that they have for those buses, I mean, obviously that seat right there is exactly six feet, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Isn't that, like, yeah. that is 100%. Yeah, like they sanitize it after oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, right. And, you know, they mandate you wearing a mask because there's nobody that gets on a bus that doesn't wear a mask, you know what right. I'm saying? I'm just, you know, <laughs> just throwing that out there. So what, uh, what made you decide to ride a bus today? To get back to my room. To get back to your room. Do you like riding the buses? Are they fun? Yeah. They're fun? All right. What's your favorite memory from a bus? Um, I don't really have a favorite memory. I have embarrassing moments. Oh, <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all? We're here. It looks like this bus is about getting ready to load up. We'll let you go on. All right. And have fun. Appreciate you for asking us. Or Thank you. Appreciate you. Well, coming up next, we're going to use the help of our friend, Ben Barks as he gets a rare interview from a very, very special guest. Hi, 
my name is Dakota. Um, I'm 24. I graduated college in 2019, and now I'm driving buses for Georgia Southern. Um, I work Monday through Thursday, and I, my shift starts at 7.10, and I get off at like 5.15, 5.30, it depends, and then I have to take it to the fueling station and then back to base. I enjoy it. Um, if anybody's worked fast food, then you know how awful it is. Comparing this to fast food is a good job. They're mostly quiet. They're listening to music, doing their own thing. They sometimes have questions. Uh, you'll sometimes get somebody who's asking where something is, but it's not a whole lot, um, especially with pandemic and we have like, you know, precautions set up. We require masks to get on the bus. So if they don't have their mask, we have to ask them to not be on the bus. Okay, so whenever you come to the stadium, always go to the very first bus, like walk all the way around to the very first bus. That's gonna be the bus that has their doors open. Um, the other buses are there just waiting and they'll leave later than that first bus so it really helps you get to class earlier if you go with that first bus. Otherwise, um, just please wear your masks and keep being awesome. Well, it's been a really enlightening uh, day today talking about buses. Thank you Ben for interviewing uh, Miss Dakota and sharing that useful knowledge with us. Um, but next week Stay tuned because we're going to have the spookiest Halloween spectacular the RU show has ever seen. So get ready. <laughs>